Well, that was quick. Jamel Charlo says summer date is a coming. He said, don't listen to nobody. He'll reveal the information. Well, that time has come. We're going to talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Make sure you click the link in the description to get TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a browser extension to help you as a creator level up your YouTube content ASAP. Now, I've been using TubeBuddy for years. That's why I'm now you know, doing this partnership and working with them. Great service. I use it daily for videos like this. I started off with zero subscribers on this platform and we've grown organically over 200,000. So TubeBuddy can definitely help. It's a resource that I use. Click that, dig into it and watch the success come. Now, I did a video last week where Jamel Charlo was rumored and I, I stated it as such that he was rumored to have a fight with Brian Castano for Undisputed. Immediately upon, you know, releasing that video, Jermail Charlo had tweeted that boxing media was clout chasing and the talks will happen, but don't believe nothing until he says it, you know, wait for his word, basically. So that time has come. Now I'm doing a follow up video. You see how that works? I give you all sides. When it's a rumor, I tell you it's a rumor. When Jermail Charlo responds to it and says, hey, at the moment, it's not true what you guys are hearing wait for me and then now when he's responding i give you all of that so i cover all my bases that's why we hit these grand slams if you like what i'm doing and you like um the content hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification icon i drop daily boxing news latest and greatest i give you my views my thoughts just my thoughts so make sure you subscribe but you guys will see it on the screen if you're paying attention to your phones your mobile devices and computers so he says summer date coming soon and he just posted this noon 12 12 april 13th summer date coming soon so it looks like he is gonna fight now he's not confirming who the opponent is to me i think it makes the most sense for it to be brian castano i don't think jamel charlo is afraid of anybody i think he'll fight anyone and his resume will show that and his pedigree shows that erickson lubin you know, that looks like that's his pin tweet. He was a dangerous guy. And people said, you know, Jamel better be on his P's and Q's. And he fought him no problem. Right? Fought him no problem. Uh, he called out De La Hoya, as you guys see right there. After De La Hoya said he's making a comeback and wants to fight at 54. So Jamel Charlo will truly fight anyone. Again, he's not confirming who the opponent is. So I guess we have to wait and see. Rumors abound that it's uh brian castano to me that makes the most sense why wouldn't it be you got a guy who has the only like first of all the title was held by a golden boy fighter jermail charlo used to be signed to golden boy but that was years ago and he's no longer with them so now that they got the title pbc a pbc fighter an al Heyman advised fighter got the title up off of a golden boy fighter and the reason i'm saying that is golden boy they have their own platform they have their own rules their own infrastructure right and you sent an al Heyman fighter to enemy territory he was a mandatory or whatever for pat text area and then you come back to pbc with the belt you might as well strike while the iron's hot that's my thinking you know what i mean strike while the iron's hot since that belt wasn't you know a belt i was there for this charlo was going in um since that belt wasn't actually in the pbc lineup and then a pbc fighter came did his thing pat check area lost to brian castano strike while the iron's hot so that's my thinking and i think it makes sense and Jamel Charlo is going to hurt a lot of people's feelings and I love it and I'm here for it and I support it and you're going to hear a lot more on my channel regarding this it is it's going to be a good time I think this is going to be a great year there's a lot of fights that haven't been announced yet and you know it's good to hear confirmation that Jamel Charlo will be back fun fighter to 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 watch fun with the build-ups he's going above and beyond with the ringside with the Lions and giving you guys extra entertainment and a peek at his life so it should be lit we'll see who the opponent is my bet is brian castano which is what i told you we'll see if ego stradamus strikes again and i told you that 
well before there was any rumors of it. But I like Jamel Charlo. And as I was saying, Jamel Charlo is going to embarrass a lot of people because if he beats Brian Castano and keep this in mind, he will be the favorite. Errol Spence beat Brian Castano, I believe, in the amateurs. Then this man will have all the belts at 154. There's no denying him. You know, people are trying to hate right now. You see old media hating right now. You see this man have all the belts. And he got all the belts but one. So if he collects that one, what they going to say? What are they going to say? How does Ring Magazine do a top 10 and exclude a Ring Magazine champion with a killer resume at his age? You know what I mean? So it's going to be so ugly for old media for Ring Magazine and all these other hating, sloppy boxing media people. You know what I mean? And I'm boxing media too, but I don't get down like that. I give credit where credit is due. I said I'm boxing media too, but I don't get down like that. I give credit where credit is due. You know? Only the strong. And what they're doing is wrong. You you see Jamel Charlo, he's, he's fighting dangerous guys. Like Charles Hatley, that was, I was at that fight too. A lot of bad blood, a lot of animosity, even at the weigh-in. And Charlo is thugging it out and fighting who he need to fight. He's fighting the dangerous mandatories. He's knocking them out. He knocked Hatley out. He knocked out Erickson Lubin, who was a dangerous, undefeated Southpaw, who beat Jorge Cota, who's about to fight that tall, slender man, Sebastian for, uh, Fundura. You know what I mean? What else could he do? He took Jason Rosario after his best win. His best career win was the Julian J-Rock Williams fight. J-Rock stopped him at home in Philly when J-Rock looked excellent versus Hurd. And this is in which the time frame to which Jamel takes on Rosario. Now, if he fights Brian Castano, there's nothing they can say. You know, there's nothing they can say. Keep running your mouth. Keep running your mouth. And a lot of people are going to look dumb because they've been sleeping on the Charlo brothers for long enough. And what are you going to say if they keep doing the damage they've been doing and you up here hating and haven't given them credit for anything that they've done? Man, I can't wait. I'm here for it. Um, can't wait for Charlo to announce his actual opponent to see if Ego Stradamus is correct. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Jamel Charlo, definitely one of the people in the champions doing it right in the sport of boxing. Yeah, did. We working. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.